the horrors of Manhattan with none of the conveniences. This is Roosevelt Island. Roosevelt Island, or as most people call it, no, I've never been there, what's that? There's like three restaurants here. One of them is a subway, so there's two restaurants. Roosevelt Island is probably the only place in New York City where I've caught myself saying, uh, hey, you know, uh, they should put some stuff here. If you live on Roosevelt Island, you never have to say what street you live on. There's literally only one street. Uh, yeah, I just live on 444 uh, The Road. On one side, it's like beautiful midtown Manhattan. On the other, it's like, honey, I don't think our drinking water is safe. Uh, yeah, Bob, you left your Coke machine on Roosevelt Island. Uh, yeah, it's, it's just kind of sitting there by the bike rack. The way I feel about Roosevelt Island is the way many feel about New York City. It's a great place to visit, but it's an even better place to find a body. Hello, sirs? Hello? Why don't you guys fly? I didn't even know New York City could be this quiet. I can only barely hear the sirens. Roosevelt Island's like a girl you're attracted to for all the wrong reasons. Like the best thing about her is she has a big bust of FDR. Geese are like wealthy ducks. There's an abandoned smallpox hospital. So if you've ever said, how can I live 10 minutes from the worst part of Manhattan in a horror movie set with no good restaurants? Well, then I guess this is the hood for you.